One of the highlights for the library this year has been its participation in the Sister City Initiative with the City of Indianapolis. Specifically, it has involved library staff exchanges with the libraries in Hangzhou, China and Cologne, Germany. Nicole James is the branch manager of the College Avenue branch of the Indianapolis Public Library, and she has just returned from a three-week visit to the Cologne Public Library. Nicole, thanks for joining us and welcome back. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad to be talking to you. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, if you would please give us an overview of the goal of the staff exchanges between the two libraries and what you saw as your role as an ambassador for the Indianapolis Library. That is the key word. I was serving as an ambassador both for the city and for the library. This is the first time the library has done this type of exchange. Mm -hmm. And it's part of the Sister Cities initiative. You know, the city has eight sister cities. Mm -hmm. The Cologne relationship has been in existence for 24 years. So next year is our big 25th year anniversary. And over the years, there have been delegations that have come and visited the cities. The mayors have, you know, Mayor Ballard's been to Cologne. The Cologne mayor has been here. There have been a couple of fire firefighter exchanges, and this was the first time for the library exchange. Okay. So the purpose for us was to strengthen this partnership with Cologne, mm -hmm. but also for the library to experience German library practices, to learn some new things, see how things are done there, just professional exchange, learning best right. practices. And lucky you, you got to experience all of that. Yes, I did. Now, in terms of how the cities match, Cologne and Indianapolis, um, what are the sim similarities in terms of the size of the two cities and the size of the two library systems? Cologne is the perfect match for us as a city. It's, a, it's similar in size. It actually has more people, about a million people, but then, you know, the greater Indianapolis population right. is about the same. It, feels much more like a big city because it's much more condensed. There, you know, the downtown, it feels like you're in the middle of Chicago or something. So it is a good match as far as size and as far as the library systems, they have a very good system, um, but our system is much larger in terms of number of branches and mm -hmm. books and staff and equipment and services. We just I have see. a much larger system even though the cities are about the same size. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of how the libraries are structured, of course, here in Indianapolis, we have Central Library, the main branch, mm -hmm. if you will, downtown. Is it structured similarly in Germany with a main Cologne branch and then satellite branches throughout? It is. The main library, the Central Library, is in the heart of downtown, right smack dab in the best part of where all the shopping is and all the stores and all the people. So it could not have a better location. And there are 11 branches, and we have 22 branches. So there, um, the 11 branches are spread out around the city. There are certain parts that are a little underserved, but they have a bookmobile as well to reach those other communities. Mm -hmm. So similar system to what we have. Now what about the idea of free access to books that people can check out or materials? and the fact that, uh, for the most part, libraries here in America are publicly funded. The same in Germany? Well, the city library is part of the city, so it's a city agency, and so it gets its funding from the city budget. But the library itself is free to use as a, you know, if you walk in for assistance. However, to get a library card, there is a fee. Uh -huh. The German libraries don't tend to have the same tradition that we do here of a free public library, which has been a long tradition in the United States and for us here. So there you do have to pay 38 euros a year, which translates to about $50 for a, a one-year library card membership, which then entitles you to use all the materials and all the online materials. Mm -hmm. And as a result, do you find a large percentage of German citizens being library card holders? Here in Indianapolis, we have about five-eighths of our district population library card holders. There are many off the top of my head. I don't know the numbers, but mm -hmm. I will say cards for youth up to through age 17 are free. So the bulk of the library card holders are, not surprisingly, young people. Interesting. Well, you were there for three weeks, and during your stay, did you observe things that made you say, that's a good idea, we should be doing more of that here? Oh, definitely. There were many, many things they had that I found just terrific. One thing was they have RFID technology, which is um, a more modern security system, and it makes checking out books and returning books even faster and more convenient, both for the patrons and for the staff. They also do a wonderful job with um, in immigrants, there is a large mm -hmm. immigrant population in Cologne. It's a very international city and people have moved there from all over the world. And the library has done a terrific job reaching out to this population. 
um, getting, getting them library cards, showing them access to the library, what the library has to offer, working with the language schools. And so there are people who've only lived in Germany for maybe six to nine months, mm -hmm. but they are being brought to the library to, sh to be shown all the services that are available to them. And I'm sure there are things that you portrayed to them about Indianapolis that uh, they might want to pick up on as well. But oh, yes. you've been with the Indianapolis Library for 17 years, like I. Um, how does this rank in terms of your greatest professional experiences? Probably the best. I will say that. Oh, good. It was a, a tremendously exciting. I got to meet so many wonderful people. The staff were amazing. And seeing all of the great things they do, you know, it's just, <clears throat> it makes me appreciate what we have here to see some of the challenges they have. But also, I was able to bring back some terrific ideas. Great. No place like home, though, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, to complete the staff exchange with the Cologne Public Library, a Cologne representative will be coming to Indianapolis next May. Will you be involved in that activity? I will be involved with planning her stay along with the Sister City Committee here in, you know, the Cologne Sister City Committee. We will be hosting her during the work week at the library, and then the Sister City Committee will be showing her all the wonderful things we have in Indianapolis. She, her name is Cora Lenutzelman, and she is the head of branch libraries for the Cologne okay. Library System. So we have already identified that yes. individual. Very good. Well, thank you for joining us and sharing your experiences. Nicole James, the manager of the College Avenue branch of the Indianapolis Public Library. There is a special site on the library's webpage uh, you can just look for the Sister Cities page where you can find the blogs that Nicole offered during her trip as well as those from our ambassadors currently in Hangzhou, China. Just go to www.ndpl.org.